We are back in Pillars of Eternity. It's a couple days later for me. Picking up right where we left off. You cannot wait that older set? I don't want to discuss it. What? <laughs> was, uh, was he just talking to himself? I feel like we should maybe explore the rest of this place. We didn't explore the whole basement because uh, we picked the, the lock on the door. So we were able to just go in there and, and, and talk to Marwald. So let's check the log to make sure we know what we're doing. So we finished up the Old Watcher quest. Uh, we talked to Merwald, and then he grew hostile and we had to kill him. Uh, but he said we should go towards the City of Defiance, which I would assume is, you know, Defiance Bay, I think is what it's called. So we got a new quest, Never Far From the Queen. Merwald has told me that I might find the Leaden Key, which is an organization or a group or something that is behind, yeah, uh, the behind my awakening, behind my character's awakening. I will find the leaden key in the City of Defiance, never far from the Queen. It is there I must go if I am to track down the man who triggered my awakening. Even though Merwald is dead, uh, apparently, Wait, Merwald is dead and what answers he provided me were short and cryptic. The steward, the steward in the Great Hall of Cad Nua appears to have been the only other sentient being in the fortress. She may be able to provide some guidance. So it's saying we need to go back up and talk to the throne, the chair that, that spoke to us earlier. But first... We will kill everything in the spot. Oh, a wood beetle. That's new. We haven't seen that before. We'll clear out the rest of the basement. Gather all the loot. Potions and silver and such. Oh. A Karo Golan. What? Made from a sacred and uncommon plant that grows deep in Ir Glanfath, Karo Golan is the name given to a mixture typically used solely for ceremonial purposes or else by warriors going into important battles. It is said to open one's awareness to one's place in the world, raising one's ability to recognize and react to threats. Oh, so it's like a drug that gives you focus gain, plus 10 deflection, plus 20 reflection for 600 seconds, which is, what, 10 minutes? And minus four intellect. And then apparently, after it's done, we get a Karo Golan crash which it doesn't say how long that lasts. <laughs> so it's like a stimulant. It's like coffee or something. Coffee or sugar. Whoops, did I? I thought I got this box. Oh, I didn't actually pick this stuff up. <laughs> I read the description, but I didn't pick it up. So presumably somewhere down here, there's a... There's a key that would have gotten me into that uh, room. Another spider. So I'm still playing on easy difficulty, which I still maintain is a little bit too easy. But at the same time, I don't want to switch to normal difficulty because I felt like normal difficulty was too hard. Oh, looters! Oh, 
this is new. Okay, are we doing okay? I'm just letting it, you know, run. I'm not pausing it. My party's all level four, so I feel like I'm reasonably capable of handling this. Oh, now he... Now my chanter summons some skeletons. Wow, this guy is tough. He's not really hurting us, but he's taking a long time to go down. Finally. Nasal Helm. That was weird. That was a weird encounter. Stairs. A platform and a and a body. A corpse. Copper skeet. Oh, that's coins. <laughs> spirits. Concocted by the most daring of brewers. Spirits come in many forms and flavors, but they all share the virtue of hurling everyday problems into a sea of liquid fire. <laughs> that's that's an awesome phrase. Hurling everyday problems into a sea of liquid fire. And what does the flame reveal? Apparently nothing. I thought I might find some secret stuff here, but I guess not. Uh, oh, there's a door here. Why is... What? Uh-oh. A stone beetle. That's new. Oh, man. He's hurting me. This thing isn't doing the job. Switch to the flail. We're up close and personal. Oh man, I'm getting, I'm getting killed. Oh whoa! I just got blasted. Give me a second wind. That's not very helpful. Whoo! Man, I got. I got beat up there. You know, I'm, uh... I think I'm remembering that I have heard that there's, like, a lot of dungeon down below the... <laughs> Whoops. I just ran off all by myself. Somewhere in my my reading about this game, I think I have heard that there is a whole lot of dungeon levels below the castle. So I might be walking into like a huge thing here. Of course. Do you not see the uh, spiders? Grave there we go. Okay, okay, okay. My dude needs to get back away from there. Oh, he's engaged. Never mind. Good job. Good job. Way to go. How about a whisper of treason? Which failed. How about... Uh, I can't cast another one. Can I get away now? Nope. Why can't I... Oh, because I don't have enough focus. Oh, it worked! Okay, it finally worked. So now I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get the heck out of there. <laughs> now I'm gonna switch back to the bow and stay at a distance. There we go. I gotta... Oh, my tank's running out of health, too. I feel like I need to get out of here. Let's just get out of here. This is, uh, I don't think we're going to finish up exploring this place anytime soon.
Oh, there's a skeleton here. Let's look at the skeleton. Eh, he's just got a sword. Okay, no big deal. You know, it's it's weird that we haven't found a key or anything. It's lucky that I was able to pick that lock to open that door. Let's make our way back up. Well, the music has changed. It sounds very Lord of the Rings all of a sudden. Aye, you're right. No sense listening to that old bam part. Damned Virago, not now! Huh. <laughs> Are we gonna learn more about his split personality problem? Suddenly he's talking to himself a lot. Hello, Miss Throne Lady. I felt Mayor Ward's passing. You slew him. He gave me no choice. It saddens me to hear it. But part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Meerwald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... will you stay? Uh, Merwald said that I must go to the City of Defiance in search of the Queen. The energy seems all at once to drain from the air. I see. If it's Defiance Bay you seek, I'm sorry to tell you that you've come a long way for nothing. The Eastern Barbican collapsed decades ago and Merwald never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. He got as far as gathering materials before his mind became preoccupied. I could uh, make arrangements to have it repaired if it is your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it. For what am I but the master's instrument? It would take no time, but far less than finding another route to Defiance Bay. Uh, well, let me ask you, what does being the master of Cadnua entail? You seemed very disappointed when I talked about leaving. Why, there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining a keep. The extent to which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instruction. If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will make the necessary arrangements. These may take some time to finish, but each will provide you with additional resources once they are complete. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen to provide you with supplies or ingredients. Repairing the keep will raise your prestige and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. If we can raise the keep's security in turn, these will become less of a concern. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will grow in fame, and you must contend with threats to the keep. And then, there are other things. Uh, was there anything else, my lord? Um, what did you mean by risks? Uh, Merald's curse was his own, a watcher's curse, but his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence within the keep, or rather far beneath it. At least such has been the conclusion drawn by all who have come to this place, for what spirits still linger in the endless paths oft speak of a master below. 
Every effort to settle here has failed. From the time of our Adrian colonists onward, beasts rise from the endless paths until the new lord or lady is no more. The one who dwells below, this master, does not tolerate rivals, it seems. I have seen, from time to time, intrepid explorers descend to lay claim to what answers they can, but none return. This is the force which has kept Cadnua a barren ruin and robbed me of my hopes. The endless paths. That, my friend, is where I must go, where we must go, if you will go with me, whatever devils lie beneath. Think, too, what knowledge we will find. Perhaps this master speaks Adrian. But uh, am I not the master of Cadnua now? Of course you are. The keep would have no other. But the endless paths are a different thing entirely. It is unfortunate, really, that they are so closely entwined. If the master below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to the keep from within. I know it is much to take in, but if you would remain, if you would be lord of this place, then I can only advise you to seek out this foe before it destroys you. What are the endless paths? The endless paths of Adnua. That is the name given to the labyrinth deep beneath the keep. The earl, he... We were warned by the Glanfathans that this site was cursed, and there is a legend attached to it, though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, it is said, by a powerful Anguithan named Adnua, who ruled there until his people turned against him. They destroyed his endless paths and filled many of the upper tunnels in the soil and stone. With soil and stone. No one living knows how far down the tunnels stretch, and few have ventured there, have ever returned. There is much talk of riches and treasure. The promise of Anguithan relics alone has drawn many fortune seekers to their deaths, I fear. And who is this master below? I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the man said to have been the architect of the Endless Paths, the Anguithan tyrant, Adnua. Some claim his spirit endures, or at least has laid a curse upon the site. I cannot imagine much remains of his work, for the ruins have been here a thousand years or more. But what is left is impressive. The Earl certainly thought so. You may have seen, while below, the hand of the great statue Adnua constructed. Perhaps it is a statue of Adnua himself? I have other questions. Yes, how can I help? How do I repair... How do I repair the Barbican? Merwald set aside materials for the Barbican, and they are still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make further repairs to the keep, we will need coin for supplies and labor. I can't help but wonder how you're going to organize all these repairs when you're, like, a disembodied sentience stuck inside of a throne. Do you, do you make phone calls from there? <laughs> anyway, your stronghold is now available. You can manage your stronghold at any time through the castle icon. Well, it's time for me to find this queen in the City of Defiance. You must... Oh, my cat just jumped up here. and She always does this. Every time. Okay. I always see her out of the corner of my eye and getting ready to jump up here. And then... But it's... I can't stop her before she does it. Anyway. You must know this queen you're looking for. This Defiance Bay... Uh, Defiance Bay has no queen. The Mequins of Idea haven't reigned here since the war. The only queen with any power there is Wodica. I am told they erected an exquisite temple in her honor there, but I was never able to see it. The party has gained 590 experience. If you mean to go there, you can get started right away on repairing the Barbican. You need only tell me what you wish to do. And I'll make the necessary arrangements. Why do I need the Barbican to go to Defiance Bay? 
I'm not really sure what a barbican is, throne chair lady, to be perfectly honest. Is it a boat? Meowald kept a ledger, a ledger, as it happens, and I have taken the liberty of updating it. You could take a look if you wish. I am, again, I am curious how you update a ledger as a disembodied throne chair lady. How does that work exactly? Uh, well, let me see what repairs I can make. Then we'll get underway at once. The steward's voice belies a giddy excitement. Know, my lord, that this is but the first and least of a great many undertakings. The keep supported a great many buildings and servants for many years. If you should wish it, we can repair some of the outlying structures, and these will bring you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding the defenses will keep your grounds from becoming overrun, as they did under Merwald's keeping. You need not choose all at once. I am pledged to your aid, and so long as you are master here, we shall always be linked. You need not step upon these grounds to speak with me, wherever your travels may take you. You can make your will known to me, if you but reach out. Oh, but first, of course, the Barbican. Why does your voice sound so different from what it did before? Oh, uh, uh the, the other lady's not here anymore. I'm her assistant. Heh <laughs> heh Okay. <laughs> Upgrades to your stronghold. Upgrades to your stronghold cost money and take time to complete. Each upgrade can add security or prestige to the stronghold or add additional functionality like resting bonuses, periodic free crafting ingredients, or new stores. Okay, yeah, Barbican is like a gate. I was wondering why, what the, I was wondering why Barbicans had anything to do with travel. The Eastern Barbican Gates. Oh, the, oh, I see, it's like a, it's like a, like a bridge or something. The Eastern Barbican gates passage to the Wood End Plains, the crossroads between Cadnua, Deerford, and Defiance Bay. It's like it's it's like unlocking a region of the the big map is what we're doing here. So this will cost. No, it doesn't cost anything. If I do this, I'll get plus one gold crown, whatever that is, and plus two blurry brown blob, whatever that is. <laughs> what is that? It's I'm hovering over it. That's not telling me anything. Is that like prestige or something? Let's purchase it. Oh, it costs nothing apparently. And it's completed already. That was fast. Hey, I have one crown. Oh, the crown is prestige. What is the... Oh, security. That's like a little lock mechanism. The blurry brown blob is a is a lock. Security plus two upgrades plus two miscellaneous. So the more stuff I unlock, the more security is. The more security there is to protect me from, you know, the bad people. Hirelings help defend your stronghold from expensive collateral damage. In the unfortunate event of an attack, they cost money to maintain, but their cost usually offsets the potential for damage. Hirelings also contribute to the security and prestige of the stronghold, sometimes negatively. Ooh. Upgrades, right. Actions. No events currently pending. Events occur at the stronghold as time elapses. The higher your stronghold's prestige, the more positive the events tend to be. However, a high security is also important, as it can help prevent theft and kidnappings. Adventurers are opportunities for your companions and adventurers to earn experience while they aren't in the party. Visitors can affect security and prestige while they are present. Some events even offer rare items for sale during limited periods of time. Man, I'm having trouble reading tonight. Ugh, my eyes are... My eyes are going bad on me. Status. Eastern Barbican construction completed. 
party management. Oh, I can leave people here. Okay. Cool. You can see what allies are up to when they aren't in the party. Okay, okay, that's fine. Well, okay, now what? New quest, the master below. My new steward has informed me that long ago a powerful Agwithin constructed a labyrinthine dungeon underneath Cadnua, now known as the Endless Paths of Adnua. So that's the big dungeon I heard about. That's a quest. That's a side quest. So, Kana, Kana, Ka Kana, Kana Rua, and Amawa from the northern lands of Rawatai has come to the Deerwood in search of a sacred text. He is eager to explore the ruins beneath Cadnua and has asked for my assistance in doing so. Until then, he seems happy enough to accompany me on my travels, though he has sheepishly admitted that this is in part due to his being pursued by mysterious assailants. So... Never Far From the Queen has been updated. I learned from Merwald that members of the Leaden Key tend to worship Wodica, and the steward has mentioned that there is a temple dedicated dedicated to Wodica in Defiance Bay. I think before we go to Defiance Bay, though, I would like... Wait, has it been updated again? No. I would like to go down below a little bit. And I would also like to see if I can rest here. Can I rest here? Bright Hollow Restoration. Restoring Bright Hollow will allow you to rest there. Other upgrades can unlock resting bonuses for it. Oh, so it'll cost me 500 and it'll take two days to build it. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be done in two days. Well, in the meantime, I guess we'll just have to use a, a camp. Camping is not allowed in this area. Why not? What about downstairs? Can I camp downstairs? Can I camp here? Camping is not allowed in this area. So we have to go outside to camp. That's a bummer. Okay, then. Seems like kind of a silly restriction. But whatever. Yeah, I merely have to walk outside the door <laughs> to do camping. Can't camp inside the door, gotta camp outside the door. Can't camp inside where you would be protected from the weather and the elements and things like that. Gotta walk outside the building. Makes perfect sense. You must gather your party before venturing forth. What? That was weird. That was a weird thing to say. What did that... What was that about? Alright. So we're back down here. So... Let's check the map. How big is this area? Let's at least clear out this first floor here. Did we go this way? Oh, nice. Wow. Aloth just blew away that spider. Oh, 
That's it! I guess I should turn off fast mode. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Ooh, a minor ring of deflection. Cobblestones and bricks are bound to the rusted old cart by thick spider webs. Uh oh, the bodies of Tarops. Zarops, I mean. Oh, there's some live ones down here, too. Ah. I'm under attack, guys. I'm under attack. Oh, he's dead now. Oh, a key. <laughs> there's the heavy iron key I needed. <laughs> Fine mace and some other miscellaneous stuff. I need a shortcut for switching between bow and uh, bow and melee. Oops, there's a door here. We didn't go this way. Lay in low. Wait, this guy has a... Uh... Kenna wants to talk to you. Poor Meerwald. He couldn't contend with all that he knew of himself. A cruel fate. Sorry, Mer uh, sorry, Kenna. I didn't realize you wanted to speak with me. You know, that might be my fate, too. It may, but Meerwald knew his curse for all that he succumbed to it. Perhaps he gave you what we need to escape his fate. I wish I could read. Perhaps he gave you what you need to escape his fate. Let's seek out these ruins he mentioned. We may find something of use. That's it? That's all you wanted to say to me? Kana? I cannot figure out how to pronounce it. Kana? 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 I don't know how to pronounce your name. Here we are. To think we are so close. Beneath our very feet lie the endless paths built by Ard Nua, the great Anguithan king. Well, up here this is all adhering, of course. But should we descend far enough, we will find some real history. To uncover that great king's tomb would be a dream. But it is one of his servants I am after. Gabranos. A powerful mage, and a dedicated scholar. A keeper of lore, just as I mean to be. He was in possession of the Tanvi Oratoa, or whatever form of it preceded the one we know. I've seen it in ruins, alongside Gabranos' name. Scraps of the same symbols and verses we know in Rawatai. He must have held the words in high regard. Or perhaps he was even the author. You sound very impressed by this, Gabrinos. They say he... <laughs> Why did they not get him to read all the lines? They say he held power over the elements. Kana coughs. But I'm more interested in his writing. He was a prolific author. I haven't been able to translate everything, but I've seen enough to know that he traveled far and wide. If only we could have met him, what wisdom he could share. But we can follow his example and strive to learn from those around us. Improve upon it. You haven't actually read his writing? Well, not entirely. How could I? It's a dead language and hardly anyone has translated even a small fraction of it. But what little I can, I have translated by comparing the symbols in his work to what others have found, I pieced together a phrase from the Tanvi Ora Toa. Clear as day. I even gave it to the keeper to check, but she was convinced I'd written it myself. Why does this book matter so much? Rawatai faces troubled times. Once we were a unified people, but that's changing. 
and the Tanvi Oratoa is at the heart of that. There are those who say that we haven't held to its instruction, that we've allowed ourselves to grow weak and polluted our tra traditions by welcoming foreigners rather than laying claim to the lands around us, that we must hold to these traditions if we are to make of ourselves a nation to be feared. My brothers would have it so, but we don't need to isolate ourselves to make Rawatai great. I know there's more to the chant. It wasn't created out of sand and water a thousand years ago, but brought to Rawatai by the Anguithans, by a people that knew the value of alliances and shared their knowledge with us. And with that knowledge, we made Rawatai what it is today. If I can find the original, I can prove it. They'll know that the chant is far older than we believed, that the Anguithans favored peace and the trade of knowledge. If we follow in their footsteps, we can make a kingdom just as grand and lasting as theirs. Well, averting a conflict is a noble ambition. And a lofty one, I know. Kanna grins. I'm glad you feel the same. I feel it's the better course for Rautai. We're a people of many races, and we've always stood together. I feel we are destined for greatness. Are you always this excitable? We're on the verge of a great discovery. I wonder at your restraint. Well, let's start looking, then. If my sources are correct, Gabranos will have brought the text with him. It will probably be within a library. Or a tomb, perhaps. It tends to be one of the two. Let's be off. A library or a tomb. I hope it's a library. So this is it, huh? Oh, yeah, that's, that's the start of the place. Well, let's go look over here first, and then we'll go over there. Clear out the rest of this place. Make sure there's no more spiders around here. Oh, there's a little corpse over here. It's got a bunch of gold. Oh, there's a... There's another little mummy there. Or a web sack, that's what it is. Weathered and covered with a dull patina, this elaborately carved pillar appears far older than the surrounding structure. I saw a spider over here. Holy! Holy, holy. Okay. So, can I get away? Before getting engaged <laughs> with that thing. Holy crap, that's a big freaking spider, man. Let's let's back up a little bit, everybody. Let's back up just uh just a tiny little bit. From that massive spider. Um Okay, let's 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 uh let's do an armor of faith on our tank there. Oh god. Why do you have to run closer? Let's do a uh, treason on that guy. Let's kill this little spear spire spiderling quickly. There we go. Now let's focus focus on this big monstrosity over here. It's barely injured. Oh, it's injured. Oh, this isn't gonna be that bad. Oh, we got this thing. It's badly injured. It looks worse than it is. It's near death. It's dead. And the little ivory spiderling goes down too. Ooh, okay, that looked way worse than it actually was. <laughs> that was a scary big spider coming at us there. A spider venom sack. And an 
Oidhrecht, a unique stiletto. Interesting. Okay. Fair enough. Light, flame, and sound. What are these? Ourselves. Do these stairs go anywhere? I feel like this must go somewhere. But it doesn't really seem like it's going anywhere. This must be another thing we can repair that leads somewhere. Well, um, I mean, I guess let's, let's go back over. Let's go down one level in the place and see what happens. Surely it won't take that long to just just look around on the first floor of the endless stairs or whatever it's called. Oh, there's Zarips. Friendly Zarips. Oh, and a worm. Oh, damn, I'm taking damage already. Why are you shooting at me? I'm gonna move over here, out of this guy's line of sight. Ah, damn it, that didn't help. Got him. <laughs> My chanter keeps summoning... Summoning skeletons right at the end of the fight. <laughs> Worm wings. My dog's very noisy over there with her snoring. This crooked effigy has been cobbled together with logs, scaled hides, and bones. A human skull adorns the top. I think, I think they're trying to say we should not go this way. Hello? Humans are not allowed, I think is what they're trying to say. Um, do we go left or right? Let's go to the right first. I see blood stain on the floor. Trap detected. Disable it. Disarmed. There's something over here. Making our way down the hall. Another trap. No! Damn it. <laughs> the trap was triggered. Edder just went running across the trap. Zara priests. Gad. And not a problem. Down they go. Edder, don't go running across the thing before I disarm the traps, please. Sorry. Oh, another trap. It's a tent with a broken blade? Why do we... Oh, the blade of the endless paths. A great and ancient weapon has been dismantled, its pieces strewn throughout the endless paths of Adnua. Perhaps if all these pieces can be found, the weapon can be reforged. I have found part of a shattered blade. It isn't much use like this, but perhaps it can be reforged if I find the rest of it. Perhaps. Okay. Moving on then.
more Zerups. It's weird how the party won't help if some of the party is in... This thing isn't doing the job. The, the party doesn't help if they're... if they're hidden. and It won't come out of hiding. The, the party doesn't come out of hiding until monsters see them, so if half the party is, is out of the line of sight of a monster, then they'll just stay hidden and they won't join the battle. Which is kind of weird. I'll see what I can find. Ooh, a Zarp corpse. Lockpick. This Zarp is lying in a corner of the chamber. Its ribs show starkly beneath its scaly hide, and its breathing is labored, each whistling breath causing obvious discomfort. Oh, it's still alive. It doesn't seem to be reacting to your presence. I will examine the Zarp. You look the creature over. There is a strange discoloration on its skin in several places, but you cannot see anything that would inform you of what ails the Zarp. Uh, I guess I'll leave it alone. I don't feel like just killing it. I just picked up some stuff. Didn't I just pick up some stuff? I mean, it's clearly been... I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very... It's been poisoned, I assume. It's probably going to get up and attack me from behind. Or something. <laughs> More Zerops. <laughs> These worms. <laughs> Damn. That's it! This thing isn't doing the job. What do you keep complaining about, Edder? You're constant com Constantly complaining about something not doing the job. I don't know what you're talking about. Curled against the inside of this broken shell is a tiny white shape. Only when a tiny toothed maw opens to let out a frightened squeak is it clear that this is a small worm recently hatched. I will pick up the worm. You have gained a tiny white worm. <laughs> okay. What do I do with a tiny white worm? It's a pet. This worm appears to have been the runt of the litter, for it is much smaller than its fellows. For all that, its scales are a beautiful gleaming white, and it seems to be fond of you. It's my new pet. Oh, damn. There's, <laughs> there's another worm over here. Of course. Oh, it's attacking me. That's it. Kill it, everybody. Kill it before it kills me. These cracked eggshells are leathery but brittle. Most of them have been trampled into a fine dust stamped with tiny clawed footprints. Huh. So the Zarps were getting rid of the worms? What? What? Lay in low. Ooh, secret. 
a bone pile with a fine club and camping supplies. Perfect. I needed one of those. Can we camp? Oh, we can camp. Nice. We don't technically need to. But we could if we wanted to. That looks like that would go downstairs another level. Let's finish clearing out this first level and then that'll be it. For this episode. Ooh. Get him, Edder. That's it. Oh, Edder's taking some damage. This thing isn't doing the job. Do you mean your shield, Edder? Is that what you're talking about? It is kind of silly to use a wooden shield against something throwing fire at you. Where's my healer? Man, this worm is tough. Nice and quiet. Moving into another room. Drop. I'll take care of it, guys. Uh, I don't think it worked. I don't think I got rid of the trap. I can't disarm this one, guys. This one's too hard for me. Somebody, somebody go step on it. I think we're gonna have to, you know, trigger the trap. Enter. Hey. I suggest you go. Wait, now let's let our cleric go. He has a lot of hit points. Oh. <laughs> wow. That, that hurt, you guys. <laughs> that trap actually kind of hurt. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Whose corpse is this? Ooh, a hand and key. Oh, it's a, it's a set of medium armor named hand and key. Worn by Pefrel, a paladin of the kind wayfarers, this breastplate bears an elegant relief of two hands presenting a key. Pefrel commissioned the armor to demonstrate his dedication to the idea of opening paths and doors for those who might otherwise find the passage too dangerous, while his devotion to the order dictated almost every facet of the man's life. Pefrel was also a faithful adherent of the god Barath, and the hand and key serves as a personal reminder that the final door he opened would bring him into the god's keeping. Huh. It seems, uh, it seems like something that Edder would like. There's also a note about Faramund's curse. This rolled up piece of parchment is covered in smeared charcoal scrolls. Let me get it down in writing. I knew this was a shit plan from the start. Merrick Gleeful is a toddler, convinced we were going to talk the Zarups into helping us fill our pockets. Help Andres right into a great big pit, more like. And now you've run off all like hares. Meanwhile, here's me, up to my armpits and bones and Zarup shit. I hope you all rot down here. I hope Merrick trips right off the ledge of the world and Drafton loses what's left of his wits and guts the rest of you. Five of us left and you run. Curse each and every one of you. And curse me, too, for dying here on account of a bunch of mewling pisspots. Here's for when one of you rotten lizard bastards learns some Adian. Adirin. I hope you all fucking choke. Man. Poor Faramond. His guys left him there to die. 
Maybe it was the trap that got him. Did we go down here? No, we didn't go down here yet. I thought we explored the whole place, but there's one room left here. Zarups. And a whole lot of blood. I bet there's a trap there. Got him. Be really nice if you could summon those skeletons a little earlier in the process. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. Uh, that room looks big. Oh, that's a big central room. There's a there's a boss in there, isn't there? A big boss that's going to hurt us very badly, I bet. Let's, um, let's maybe think about putting this armor on before we go in there. Hand and key. You know, it's actually not, <laughs> not better armor. The Pilgrim's Lasting Vigil. Oh, he doesn't, he's not wearing a helmet. Let's put a helmet on, Edder. Can we... Can we do anything to, like, heal? <laughs> um... Minor potion of regeneration. Restoring any energy and liveliness restores endurance. Eh. I'm looking for something that'll heal. Does anything heal other than resting? It's a red potion. Potion of merciless gaze. Uh, what does grain do? Max endurance. Alright, we'll get the... I mean, I'm a little worried to go in here with my two guys at low health here. Oh, man. Drem has a severe burn. Hey. Burn. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to eat one of these chickens. And a potion of iron skin? Alright, let's go. Let's go see what we got in here. What's the big boss? It's a Zarab High Priest. Stepping into this chamber, you are assailed by a cacophony of screeches, growls, and barks. Blood-spattered Zarups dance in frenetic, leaping motions. To one side, a Zarup plunges his hands into a bucket teeming with blood to daub patterns onto others eager to join the rites. At the far end of the room, one Zarup, wearing the long skull of a young drake and vibrant feathers, shakes a staff towards the gathered Zarups, screeching and clicking. The high priest suddenly raises the staff above his head, shrieking with renewed vigor. He swings the staff downward to point it at the pit, and then at you. I'm not sure I like that suggestion. Are you saying we're supposed to jump in that pit? I don't think I want to do that. Brave I don't want to jump in a pit. What a silly idea. 
All right, let's cast a charm on this guy. Yeah. And then, let's see. Hey. Then I think we'll go this way, right? This guy will go over here. What? This guy will come over here. Aloth will... Well, Aloth will not go that way. Aloth will go the other direction, obviously. Because that would be silly. Wait a second, that guy's not dead. Why isn't that guy dead? Aloth is gonna throw... a big spell at this little Zarup. Yes. Oh boy, what is that? I don't know what that spell was. Okay, now would be a great time to bring out those skeletons, I think. Yeah. Can we do another treasonous whisper? Nope. Don't need to. <laughs> uh, how may I help? How about uh, one of these fire missile things? The high priest is injured. He's near death. Stand still. Whoa. Turn back. There is only death upon the endless paths. Uh is this where I'm supposed to go? I thought the endless paths were the other way. Well. Let's get everybody over here. The blood spilled from this bucket seems to have eaten into the stone. The rope tied to the bucket looks long enough to descend into the pit. This bucket is filled with blood and gives off an acrid stench. A dark film floats across the surface of the liquid. So... So I feel like, yeah, those are the stairs. I feel like those are the stairs that go to the next level. And there's a sacrificial pit. Something called a sacrificial pit. This is the Endless Paths of Adnua, level 2 that we're on. Uh... This wide pit descends into a grim darkness. You hear the whistling howl of winds, and from time to time hot gusts of air tug at your clothing. Uh, I don't feel like I want to go in there. <laughs> it just seems like a bad idea. Somehow it just seems like a terrible idea to go into that pit. So I think we're going to stop here. And, uh... You know what? I'm going to do a quick save. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to use a grappling hook to descend into the pit. You take a grappling hook from your pack and tie it off neatly around one of the heavy stone blocks surrounding the pit. A few hard tugs suggest that the rope will hold fast. 
Keeping the firm hold on the rope, you begin your descent into the darkness. Soon the edge of the pit is far above your head, and you can hear only the creak of the rope and your own breaths. Soon enough, however, you see another source of light far below, past the dangling end of the rope. You can see a dimly lit room, at the center of which is a circular stone pool. The pool is filled with blood, and even at this distance you can pick out various limbs and mangled bodies, largely zarp in nature. The tunnel bored into the stone ends a ways above the chamber below, and your rope extends no further. Oh, man. I can either jump down into the blood pool or climb back up out of the pit. Damn it. I mean, I know this is a mistake, but I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump down, guys. Bracing yourself for the landing, you loosen your hold, dropping down the remaining distance to land within the blue, pool of blood with a noisy splash. The thick, murky waters hinder your swimming, threatening to pull you down into the unseen depths of this grim pit. But at last you crest the surface and pull yourself up and over the brim to find yourself at the edge of a reeking, sludgy mixture of blood and limbs. Oh, man. Gross. Oh, gross. Holy crap, I've just gone down to level five. Oh. And there's no way back. Oh no, I've, I've made a terrible mistake. Limbs and organs bob in this mire of blood and gristle. The carnage stirs with the occasional gust of wind from the tunnel above. And there's no way back up. Oh no. I knew it was a mistake. All right, well, I'm going to save here. Odd new a level five start. <laughs> Will we be able to get back out again? That's my, that's my next goal is to get back out again. But that's going to be it for now. See you later.